how efficient is an evaporative cooler? If you can use evaporative cooling in areas where it's appropriate, um, it really is a cost-effective method of, of cooling. You've got, as opposed to running a condenser and a fan and a fan inside with reverse cycle air conditioning, all you're running is a fan and you're taking air across effectively a wet blanket uh, and increasing the humidity and putting and having a cooling effect. So the more humid, the more air, the more uh, moisture is in the air, the greater the cooling effect. So in that respect, you're looking at what would cost uh, about 20 cents an hour to run, as opposed to reverse cycle air conditioning, which is costing about $1.20 an hour to run. It really depends on the efficiency of the individual unit and where you live. If you're in Sydney and it's a hot, humid day, um, you're not going to get any uh, cooling effect by adding more moisture to the air that's already humid. Whereas if you're in Canberra or, or Melbourne, where it's a hot, dry day, and you add moisture to that air, then it's going to have a nice cooling effect. So therefore, of efficiency, it's not efficient if you're not achieving what you're trying to achieve, which is a nice, comfortable environment to live in. So if efficiency is achieving the result of what, you, of what your expectation is, it really depends on installing the right system in the right location uh, for where you live and, and, and how you live in your home. But no matter where you live and what the cost, if evaporative cooling is appropriate for you, then evaporative cooling would be, more, would be cheaper to run.